Uh, well, my name is Lorenz van der Kruisen. Uh, I am a PhD student at the uh, University of Brussels. Uh, sort of comparable to uh, a graduate student uh, in other systems. Uh, I basically prepare, uh, I'm basically preparing my PhD in social neuroscience, uh, which is something uh, which is pretty typical, well, yeah, at the VUB, um, because we're, what we do is we apply neuroscientific methodology uh, for studying social processes. How does the brain deal uh, with, uh, with the social environment? Um, yeah. <laughs> In the first place, I think it was, well, uh, a bit out of ease. Uh, I don't live that far from Brussels, so I can take the train easily. Um, but also because the, the University of Brussels is, is quite small, and uh, I didn't feel that confident uh, about myself in the beginning. I came from... Uh, direction which wasn't really uh, oriented towards academic studies. Normally, like uh, from what I studied, which was bakery, you don't go to university afterwards. Uh, so I, I was pretty afraid of getting lost in the crowd uh, of a really big university. Uh, and it was, especially my parents, they said, well, it might be better to just go to a small university, see how it works out. And it worked out pretty well. Uh, I, I felt like I could talk to the professors easily. If I had a, a problem, uh, I could address the assistants. And, uh, well, after a while, your, your confidence starts to grow. And, well, you, you feel really, really at home here. Well, I think maybe out of all the, the Belgian cities, Brussels is probably the most metropolitan uh, of them all. You have this wide uh, combination of, of cultures, uh, of nationalities. I mean, we, we're, we aren't that far located from the European community here. Um, and you're, you're actually surrounded by an entire community here, which doesn't change uh, during summer. Uh, people still live in Brussels during summer, which is not often the case, for instance, in, in Ghent or in Leuven. Uh, the, this is an actual community in which you, you are studying. And that really makes it interesting because there's always something to do. The, the, there's an actual life happening in Brussels. There's also sometimes manifestations. Uh, there, there are po uh, political activities that are happening with the European Parliament. So there, there's always something to do. Well, well, I, I did my bachelor's here. I did my master's here. And then you, you get to know the, the research culture here as well. Um, uh, I also had a specific interest towards uh, stereotypes uh, and I really liked, uh, for instance, the fact that I could do something uh, with stereotypes and how the brain reacts to dealing with stereotypes, how the brain reacts to perceiving other people uh, and the, the, the option was here. Uh, also, it's, it's a really big advantage when the, the, the promoter you have knows you from doing your, your master thesis because they know uh, what kind of person you are to work with and they, they have a pretty good view of uh, what, what you will be able to achieve. Um, so that was also uh, yeah, quite a, an easy choice to, to make to, to remain in Brussels to do my PhD and well, of course, the subject as well. Uh, we, of course, uh, in my specific uh, domain of expertise, we work together with the University of Ghent as well because uh, they, they also have uh, some expertise in neuroscience. Uh, but uh, we particularly combine it to uh, the, the, the investigation of stereotypes, which is maybe less common in uh, in, at the University of Ghent, and um, which is something that we do here a bit more. So, yeah, that's why I decided to stay. The scale, definitely. Uh, on the one hand, you have the scale, the fact that it's a small university, that you don't get lost in the crowd. You 
also tend to meet uh, a lot of people from other uh, the directions, from other study orientations, which makes it really interesting. You, you have a very diverse crowd. Uh, a lot of the, the, the directions and orientations are located at the, the campus here in, in, in Etterbeek. And that well uh, makes it easy to uh, to come in contact uh, with them. You also have uh, in the beginning a lot of classes together. Um, the fact of just being in in Brussels, uh, well, you're in the capital of Europe, and uh, you, you also have a lot of architecture. Um, you, well, even if you speak English or French, you can always just. Uh, go to a restaurant and people will understand you. So it's, it's very liberating as well. You're welcome.